food uh, systems uh, it's just a very wide terminology uh, in a sense that some people have their different opinion from growing to harvesting or processing and digesting and coming back uh, these are all like this a chain of growing fruits coming from the one place and going to another place and coming back to the same place so with a different opinion what I think is that it's, it's a system of a responsibility so uh, how I say that it's a responsibility of everyone so it's not only the growers or it's a scientist who make a new varieties or the growers who are testing those varieties and that they're producing the fruit or the foods and then they are going into the processing and then after processing they're going to the consumer and then how the uh, consumer uh, they work with those uh, produce uh, how much they are like consuming and how much they are wasting and where the, re the rest of the food is going on uh, that's the one part uh, the second part of the food system in uh, terms of responsibility is either we are all getting the same food or not either we are getting a similar quantity or similar quality of a food or not so that's a responsibility as it's not like someone having a fresh food and someone doesn't have a fresh food or a fruit or a vegetable so this is becoming a responsibility uh, in terms of a system so how we make the system sustainable and make ourselves responsible to have a good food chain going throughout so so none of the piece uh, for the food system is missing in the chain. So that is why is ACC is a unique in a food systems. In today's time, food systems all across the world are extremely fragile and they are vulnerable to many pressures like uh, rapid population growth, like globalization, urbanization, then you know, energy price insecurities, um, climate change, depletion of food, you know, natural resources, um, just to name a few. So it becomes extremely important that we need to purposefully find a solution for all these. We need to purposefully uh, look into finding solutions and addressing these challenges of providing food to all in sustainable ways well into the future. Now, in order to plan and create a equitable, healthy and a natural, sustainable food systems, it is very important that we need to follow integrated and innovative approaches. Now, I strongly believe that uh, local food systems play a very important role here. In my working experience in developing and developed countries, I have noticed that localizing food systems have always yielded many positive results and they have ensured a sustainable resilient food supply for the future the local food systems they support a greater social benefit they reduce the uh, negative environmental impacts associated with the uh, food production uh, they improve community health and they also um, uh, strengthen economies so um, it's it becomes important for all of us to be aware of our food systems because knowing our food systems will help us identify and understand the impact of decisions that we make in our daily life and also the possible outcomes that we seek to uh, achieve for ourselves for our children and for all our future generations when it comes to producing food or when it comes to cooking food, we often forget that what we do in kitchens or, or in the restaurant business is directly impacted by what's going on out in the fields. Assiniboine Community College is unique from other colleges within Canada in the sense that we approach food as an integrated field of study. So our, horticulture produc our horticultural production program, our sustainable food systems program, our hotel restaurant program, our culinary program, and our food processing, our meat cutting program are all joined under the Manitoba Institute of Culinary Arts. And the faculty at uh, MICA, as we call it, approach food systems as a set of values where they share these integrated concerns with each other and with their students. Assiniboine is also unique in the sense that we have a comprehensive applied research program 
that has attracted many of the best grants in Canada and continues to do so. We have instructors that spend half their time on research and half their time teaching. Uh, our faculty have been able to produce new foods that didn't exist before. Uh, sweet potato research, strawberry research are, are some of those items. Um, so not only do we approach the food system as something that's given to us and exists, but Assiniboine is also able to innovate within that food system and create foods that literally did not exist before. When you come to Assiniboine Community College, you enter into a world of faculty and researchers that live and breathe the food system in all of its forms and inspire students to innovate within that system to create new solutions that didn't exist before.